Man, what a beautiful sight. Hey guys, welcome back to my video. Today, we're back at Universal Studios Hollywood. Finally, <laughs> we haven't been here in like over a week and a half or so. So I can't wait to check out all the HHN updates and just like all the all around park updates. We haven't been here in a while, so I'm sure some things have changed. So you guys can see all the gates are currently empty and that's because we're here a little bit earlier than usual. I thought they opened at nine, but apparently they open at 10 and right now it's currently 8.58, so. Yeah, we have some time to wait until we get let in. So looks like we already have our first update. They just put these signs out in the front of the, the gates. It says, we're in the process of dressing our park for Universal Studios Hollywood Halloween Horror Nights. During your visit, please be aware that you may see graphic props and sets from horror films. Wow. So, just in case, be aware. <laughs> Might see some gruesome. All right, guys, so we finally got into the park. I think our first stop's going to be the Universal Studios store. I'm hoping to have some new Super Nintendo World merch. So it doesn't really look like they added too much here, but it looks like they did move a few things around. Um, it looks like the Yoshi keychain is sold out right now. And then they moved this merch over here. It used to be over here. And they did add some new shirts, though. They have this one. This one. This one's cool. It has Yoshi on it. They have another one with Peach on it. This one's a tank top and then lastly they have this shirt all right so we made our way even further into the studio store and i found these shirts i'm not sure if they're new or not they could have been here for years but i feel like it's my first time I've ever seeing them let me go and show you guys so they have a couple of back to the future tees this one says out of time that is so cool <laughs> then they have this one 88 miles per hour and then there's this one. And then there's even plushes. They have Doc right here. And then they have Marty on this side. And I just feel like I've never seen this stuff. I don't know. Like I guess I could be wrong, but I feel like it's my first time seeing this. All right, guys, so we just left the studio store, and I now see why they put up signs at the. Uh, at the gates in the front of the, of the park because I'm already seeing some of the HHN stuff and it's pretty crazy. Let me go show you. Look at this. <laughs> How cool is that? This is my first time seeing any of this stuff. They have these containers up. And then they just have all these, uh, these like props up. That is so awesome. And then we have Dante's bar over here. Oh man. <laughs> Check that out. Look. Security looks a little tough, so I don't think we're gonna be able to get in today, guys. Plus, it's invite only. We didn't get an invite. So it's basically the whole Manhattan area that's gonna have this theming around it. And that's because they're gonna have a scare zone here called Demon City. So you check out this barricade. You got like a little demon right there in the triangle. It says Demon City, Department of Transportation. <laughs> Even the windows here at Sweet Liberty Candy Factory have changed too. You have demons all in the window. Looks like they're having a good time in there. <laughs> so I guess Dante's Bar is a disco inferno, but sadly they don't allow zombies, ghouls, or hobgoblins in there. <laughs> Seems very exclusive to get inside of there. So over in this area, it looks like they completely like cleared everything out. This is where they had the Fast and the Furious vehicles. And now they've added this little kiosk over here. It's called Plaza de los Muertos. Check that out. And then they put up a few other things, which I'm gonna have to zoom in, so sorry if it's not the best quality, but yeah, like we got some, some skeletons over there playing the guitar and then just hanging out. And then we have another little display on this side. That is so cool. <laughs> And then next to this display, they have this photo op. I had to literally move across because I couldn't uh, get this angle. But uh, yeah, it's cool to see all this stuff. Uh, I can't wait to see what else comes in this area. But the next update I'm going to show you guys is the, the facade for Bride of Frankenstein lives. The walls are down. This is old news. I, it's just my first time seeing it. Like I said, I haven't been here for like over a week and a half. And I think somewhere in between that time, the walls went down. But that's, that's really cool. Looks like they've got a speaker right there. 
And then here's a look at the facade. It looks beautiful. So I think we just stumbled upon another scare zone. This is Universal Monsters Silver Scream Queens. Let me go ahead and show you around. So we have Oxenamun, Mummy. We have Dracula's daughter. She Wolf of London. And then just check out the setup. It's just so nice. But as usual, we're gonna go behind Super Silly Funland and check out Super Nintendo World, see if there's any new updates on that. So it doesn't look like too much has changed over here at Super Nintendo World. The only thing I will say though is it's getting a little bit harder to see inside now. Um, there's a lot of scrim over here, the walls are getting taller. Um, they're starting to fill in these walls a little bit more. So, like before, we could completely see inside and now they're just starting to close it up a little bit. But I'll definitely give you guys a look at the backside of it once we get on the studio tour. One thing I noticed is that it looks pretty empty today over here at the park. One way to know for sure is checking the wait times. Looks like Forbidden Journey is a 15 minute wait, Fly the Hippogriff is 15, Ollivander is 35, Studio Tour is 10, Pets is 5, uh, Simpsons is 20. Wow, they've been open for 50 minutes already. Kung Fu Pen is 15, Jurassic World is 10, Transformers is 5, Mummy is 5. Wow. So literally as soon as I finished showing you guys the wait times, a team member came up to me and explained that it's empty because it's off season right now. That's why they open later and close earlier. So they open at 10 and I think close at six now. Which also explains the low wait times and how empty it is here. So I had to make a quick pit stop to Hogsmeade to get a cold butter beer. Yeah, I really miss those. All right guys, but anyways, that butter beer was delicious. Uh, we're about to go and head to the studio tour, which is still a 10 minute wait and it's Currently 12.18 p.m. Let's take a look at how empty the, the queue is for the studio tour. Super dead today. So here's a current look at the backside of Super Nintendo World. Wow. Jeez. Now here, ooh, hello, hello, okay. It's like, there we go, we got a little more volume on there now. <laughs> the walls are like fully up on the back side. That is crazy. I kind of see it through the screen, but actually built. Here, that is for our newly announced Terror Tram that is rejoining us this year for our Halloween Horror Nights event. So if you come to that after hours terrifying Halloween event, we actually have a maze that walks you through these historic sets outside, as you can see, and you are chased by very scary characters. Yeah, they can put speakers right here in the grass. Check that out. We are One over there too. Right next to the psycho house here. Let's put up some walls over here. They blacked it out so you can't see the maze. Right. We actually have a, another angle from the parking lot over there. So I'll go ahead and put that in right now for you guys. Right, so you can see the uh, the facade of Haunting of Hill House, and I know a lot of people are not too happy about that because of how like bare it looks. It's just like a looks like a spray painted wall. <laughs> But that's pretty cool. And then you can see on the left side, uh, Curse of Pandora's box. Yeah, that's the current look at the maze work being done over here. I'm really excited to go through those mazes, through all the mazes. I just, I just cannot wait for HHN. I'm really excited for that. I'm ready to get scared. Next up, we're gonna head to the lower lot. So we ended up dropping down one floor to check out the work being done over here on the the maze next to uh, the mummy, which is said to be Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And just right off the bat, I can't really tell much difference except it looks like there's more like green on that tree right there. <laughs> and then, and then besides that, you can't really see too much from this angle. We probably won't be able to see anything else until uh, Halloween Horror Nights when we can finally go inside of it. All right guys, so we just made it to our final stop of the day. We're over here at the lower lot. Man, check this out. <laughs> Not sure exactly what it is or what it's gonna be themed to, but this is really cool. I know 2019, if it's gonna be the same thing where they sell like snacks and stuff, this was Star Court Mall. So I'm not sure if they're gonna sell like snacks out of these windows or not. But uh, yeah, I'm really curious to see what this, what this becomes. And then here's a look at the inside of it. Man, I like this Coca-Cola sign. That's awesome, but. Yeah, well, this is definitely something we have to check out next week to get an updated look at it. 
So far, the only scare zone that we didn't get a chance to see today is uh, Chainsaw Rangers. We didn't see any work being done around the park at all for that. Uh, I don't know where it's going to go exactly. It could be in this area. They had a scare zone here in 2019, so it could be here. But uh, like I said, we'll have to check next week. I'm sure by then we'll see a lot more because uh, HHN is going to be like in two weeks. So we have to see something next week. <laughs> but anyways, I think I'm in the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.